Hey guys, it's Dr. M. Um, so we're out for a ride today, me and my friend George. We're going down scenic Route 49, and we're going to pop out in Auburn, California. We're in Ponceville right now. Um, George, you were in the Army, correct? Yes. Yes, all right. So I'm traveling with the soldiers, so I'm perfectly safe. Um, so this is George's bike. Why don't you tell me a little about your bike, George? Well, this is a 2010 Harley Davidson Fat Boy Low. Nice. 1500 cc bike. Pretty comfortable to ride. I'm doing a little walk around. Uh, now, did you add this uh, air cleaner on here? Yes, I did. Sister? High flow. Air cleaner, uh, 12 inch uh, ape hanger. Very nice. These grips look. Party Davidson yeah. grips. Yeah. They were changed also. So, how long have you had this bike, George? Two years. Two years. Any regrets? Nope. And I don't think I will have regrets. Yeah. It looks nice. It looks great. Um, okay, and then here's my old girl. Uh, I've had this bike forever, like 24 years now. It's a 92 VT 1100 uh, Honda Davidson. I mean, uh, Honda uh, Shadow. <laughs> yeah. But uh, hey, you know, I can't complain. It keeps running. I'll ride it till it blows up, probably. So, all right, well, I'm going to switch over to the GoPro, and uh, hopefully this all works out. All right, say goodbye, George. Bye. A temporary goodbye. We're not going to hit a tree. All right, all right, bye. Hey, guys, all right, hopefully this is the recording, and uh, we're about to go across the 49. All right, already got some people trying to run us over. That's fine. We had a nice lunch there at Mel's Diner. They only sell small orange juice and large orange juice, just be warned. There's no medium orange juice. la dee -de. Oh, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, that's a lot of pollution there. Alright. Gonna slow down for my friend. Well, where, oh, where is my friend George? <laughs> there it comes. And take two. Yeah, on my on my bike we've got uh a Cobra slash cut exhaust pipes. Other than that, though, oh, uh, yeah, I got aftermarket mirrors, original or more of a rectangle shape. These kind of have a weird teardrop oval. And something I like about my old Shadow, though, is it's liquid-cooled. It's uh, shaft drive, so it's pretty low maintenance. And uh, this particular year made a lot of uh, horsepower relatively for its size. It's got... Hydraulically adjustable valves, 
So it's never going to have that many revs, but you know, it makes like 66, 67 brake horsepower at the crank. Uh, a few years later, they kind of detuned the shadow, uh, gave it kind of a change the crank pin, I believe, and made it uh, more vibration, but it lowered the overall horsepower. It has two spark plugs per cylinder, single overhead cam, three valves per cylinder. Well, you know, it's an old bike. It's got a drum brake on the rear, so that's kind of ancient technology. That's like my 1970 Ford pickup truck. Let's see how this works out. I'm supposed to turn here. Yeah, so this particular year of my bike has uh, only a four speed. I wish I had a fifth, but it works. 25 miles to Auburn. Beautiful route, that's for sure. Although I have been told on the songs are 
Ecken richten. Only the second time I've been down Highway 49 uh, on a motorcycle. But if you like curves, here you go. My friend George and I, uh, we subscribe to the, the thought of his old riders and his old riders, but there's no old old we just like to put through, take our time, enjoy the scenery. I'd rather look at the trees than, than be wrapped around one. If you can believe it, it's like 65 degrees. Beautiful weather. And it's uh, mid February. Welcome to California. If you like riding motorcycles, well, it's probably uh, one of the best places to ride. Lots of different scenic routes and state parks. Fairly temperate region. Never too hot. Too cool. Yeah, just the other day I had a dream. Uh, it was like a bear I walked out. I was watching it happen. The uh, bear walked out, and the guy and the kid was on the bike. Crashed into the bear, threw him off the bike, just pissed the bear off. The bear ended up eating the little kid. And it was pretty horrific. Not exactly the best dream to have before you go riding in an area where there's bears. I have actually come across a bear on this motorcycle, not on this exact road, but in this area. 
And let me tell you, uh, motorcycles do not have a reverse gear. So I just hope that the bear would amble across the street, and that's what it did. It's a black bear. Uh, I tell you what, though, I was, was not going to just go quietly into the night. I'm going to try to drive past it and at least give it indigestion with uh, my V twin. Sometimes when there's a drought, which was happening that year, a pretty severe drought, the bears and the other animals do, they come come down lower in elevation than they normally do in search of water. Another thing, if you're driving these country roads, be mindful. A lot of animals come out at dusk and in the dawn. So, Riding at midday, if you can time that, that's a uh, safer for you. I answer them, I guess. Well, hopefully, I can get my friend George to get in front of me so we can see his bike. There it is. Oh, it's got all LED lights around the you know, license plate. That's a, George is a mechanic. I won't say where, but for a major automobile or a corporation. So he's able to work on his bike and mod it and stuff. I do some stuff, like I rebuilt the fork. Uh, the fork got a leak on this bike. I probably shouldn't have been using it as a dirt bike. But, uh, you know, minor stuff, but really, it's been so problem free. In 24 years, I've had it. I just normal maintenance. Change the spark plug, change the oil, uh, make sure that you know, I change the gear well and the radiator fluid every so often. And um, I think the one actual thing that went out at some point was the, uh, the starter. It was a really low price, easy fix, and it's like three bolts or something. It took all of like 15 minutes. Not that. And I got this bike. I bought it. It had 8,000 miles on it. it was, uh, like I said, the bike was a 92. And when I bought it, it was a 94. April of 94. Uh, no, I stand corrected. Oh my goodness. Yeah, April of 96. Yeah. Uh, and I know this because my first child was born uh, just like eight days, nine days after I got this bike. And uh, at nine days. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, he was born in 96. So this bike was four years old with 8,000 miles. And uh, I got it at the time. I don't remember this was like 1996 when it was about $5,000 down at the Fresno Motorcycle Dealership. And uh, you know, my dad, he gave me a ride from up in the Placerville area where we have a property. And he took me down to Fresno. We got nice little pancakes for breakfast down at IHOP. Very vividly remember that day, and I followed him home. It was a great ride. He was a wonderful guy. A couple times, he, he and I went right up to Lake Tahoe, just around the mountain. He used to ride a scrambler before they were called scramblers. I was riding on that when I was six years old. I remember distinctly we were riding in the dirt. I, uh, I grabbed the throttle and lifted it pretty good. And uh, I got a little, little whack on my hands. I have a distinct memory of that. But definitely hooked. Hooked from the get go. You ride a motorcycle, I'm telling you, it's not quite like it. Every time I, if you ride, you're like, oh yeah, this is why I ride. I forgot how fun it was. And, um, it feels it's like I've ridden horses, it's kind of like that. But 
they stop when you want them to stop. And, you know, uh, there's just so much freedom. Connected to the environment around you, when everything—it's just, just a different experience in a car. So half the fun, I mean, well, more than that, is getting there. This has been said ten thousand times before, but I'll say it again: my first time. They are—they are dangerous, to be sure. Uh, I broke a few bones, uh, but, you know, with every good thing, there's a risk to benefit or ratio. Is it, is it worth it for you? Uh, do I want my kids riding motorcycles? Hell no. Uh, I told them I'll do everything in my power to keep them off the motorcycle, which, I mean, honestly, I would love to go riding with my kids. That would be a blast. There are two of them are adults right now, but I mean, I know when I rode with my dad, that was really cool. By the same token, I know how many close calls like that I've had. And to be honest, I don't want them to have to go to risk their lives like that. All right, so we just passed George. Speed limit 25. These, uh, these little towns like this, this little less than a town, these often are speed traps, believe it or not. Uh, so my, my Neotech, if you don't know Neotech, just show his modular helmet. So. I don't know if you can hear the engine any better. Gold Trail Grange. Definitely some cool scenery, though. I, know. I wish I had a like a helmet cam so you could see everything I'm seeing. But for now, I mean, it's just mounted on my handlebar. Yeah, you gotta love how friendly uh, you know the motorcycle community. They're very helpful. Uh, the only thing I've ever noticed is like between sports bikes and Harley riders, like seemingly not a lot of love lost. Uh, sometimes they wave, sometimes they won't. But overall, in the end, all riders help each other. It's like one big collective kind of uh, family. another cool thing about riding. All right, Zach, I didn't wave, but uh, maybe you didn't see me. Sometimes, like, people wave, and I don't notice it, so, like, it's just a little bit too late, and then I feel like it's a bad guy. Well, at least for, like, two seconds. So if you're, you know, thinking about getting a bike, uh, this is not my first bike. My first bike was uh, a 750 Honda Magna. You know, I, knew I got it cheap. You should definitely get a cheap bike for your first bike because you, you're going to drop it. It's almost unavoidable. Um, and it's going to hurt. It's going to make you cry. Do you want to or no? All right, we're letting George go.
again, see, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm on basically a Harley looking bike, and that was a sport bike. Nope. Let me know in the comment section if that happens to you too, or if it's just like a me thing. I don't know. Like, I wave to everybody, but when I'm on my sport bike, sport bike riders wave back to me, but, but the Harley riders don't. And when I'm on my, like, Harley looking ride, the sport bike riders don't. It's just, oh, this a weird thing in California, or I just have bad luck, or well, let me know if you ride, about, if you've experienced anything like that. Well, this is a nice open stretch right here. I got George in the frame right here. Very Sons of Anarchy looking uh, motorcycle he's got. He's got the black hoodie too, man. He's got a lot of cool tattoos, which a lot of them are from my brother. My brother's Sean Mahaffey at MahaffeyTattoos.com. Yeah, I mean, Sean could draw. He's always been able to draw. Sometimes it pisses me off how, how good he can draw. That was like the one thing like I could never, never best him at, or, I mean, not even in the same ballpark. And I'm pretty good at most things. And I'm not great at anything, but I'm pretty good at most things. But not drawing. Really not drawing. I think if anyone's seen me draw, they'll be like, oh yeah, he's really bad. Awful. So we're going to, when we get to Auburn, we're going to stop at the Indian Motorcycle Dealership in lovely Auburn, California, where I purchased a 2016 Indian Scout. It's a brilliant motorcycle. I like it. I put a blankie on it every night, give it a hug and a kiss. Sometimes I tell it a bedtime story. I tell my students that, you know, prove to me it's not a lie. Uh, it breathes air. It needs food, like gasoline. It has exhaust, which is like waste products, right? Uh, it has onboard ECU computer that is kind of like a brain. It even has cells in the leather seat, right? Um, you know. They're like, well, it doesn't move. How much does a tree move on its own, right? They're like, it needs your help. And, uh, I don't know. I think you could make a good point that, you know, my little little buddy is alive out there. Why am I not on the Indian today? Good question. Uh, so it's actually at a point where I need to do an oil change, and I don't have saddlebags on my uh, scout yet. Uh, but I do have them on my uh, shadow, so this way I'm going to pick them up, put them in there, and bring the oil back for my my uh, my friend, my scout out and about. Uh, I want to make sure I keep that running as long as uh, well this bike, honestly. Now the scout is belt driven, does not have hydraulically adjustable valves, but it's able to turn more RPMs because of that. It's got manually, you have to manually adjust the valve. I'll have to double check. I believe the valve adjustment interval is recommended at 20,000 miles. But, um, yeah, it'll make 100 horsepower at the crank. And it's a little over 500 pounds. 
it's pretty peppy, pretty peppy. And uh, I also have a Honda 919, it's a naked sport bike. And I bought that new in 2002, and uh, I still have it, still have it. It's a good bike. Uh, it's chain operated. It's got a 100, 910 horsepower at the crank. Uh, the difference between like a shaft and a chain drive, right, is that you're going to get more of the power delivered to your rear tire when you're using a chain. When you use the shaft, the trade-off, right, there's always a trade-off, is there's like it, the angle has to change. Like if there's like a couple 90-degree turns and with the gears and whatnot, the added friction, and you lose. You lose energy. And so you're not going to deliver as much horsepower that you're generating. That work isn't going to be transferred as efficiently to your rear tire. Um, but I will tell you, you know, the shaft drive is nice. You're not slinging up a wheel anywhere. You don't have to make sure the chain is adjusted right. Um, all right, there was a sport bike guy. Any, any way. So clearly, it's not everyone. All right, that's good. That's good news. Or maybe it's me, because he technically waved to George. Right? He didn't, I just, like, there, again, adventure bike. What the hell? He's wa they're waving. I mean, heck, what the heck? They're waving to George. I think it, this is a me thing. Ouch. All right, I'm emotionally recovering. I'm sorry. I had to pause. Dramatic effect. I really hope this is recording because I've, I've never actually used this feature before. On my, I'm trying to connect the Cena, the Bluetooth, a microphone in my helmet. It's recording to my Apple uh, phone through the Utilities Voice Memo app. I don't know if it's going to let me record this phone, honestly. Here comes the test. Here comes the test. I'm waving. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. A sport bike rider waved to me. We're breaking barriers in this uh, video. Mending fences. Cats and dogs living together. Now, would this be considered a moto vlog, assuming it even works? Uh, I guess. I'm of the age where I'm like, hmm. Instagram, what? I know there's a TikTok. I thought that had to do with a clock at first. And there's Tiktaalik, which is the fossil of the first tetrapod. I know it's not that. Facebook, that's probably like high tech that I go. Like I said, my bike's got a drum brake, so, you know, what do you expect? ABS? What, what's ABS? 
Don't squeeze the brake lever so hard, dude. Sometimes just the more electronic something has, the more likely something's going to fail. Usually right when you need it. Uh, that could just be the old crotchety McCrotcherson. Flippity flew! Goodbye, uh, Dave! Our wheels were made out of stone. And we liked it. You know, so my helmet's got a, a drop-down visor, and I'll have to admit, that's kind of nice. On my previous helmet, which I still have, I have a uh, iridium silver, like, reflective visor, and my, it's, the whole thing's like a sunshade, so if you get caught riding somewhere and the sun goes down, then, you know, you have to lift the visor, and your eyes start tearing up. I wear contacts, so it's worse. But then uh, Showy sells a transition visor, so you know it darkens in the sunlight or regular light. Uh, unfortunately, it's like $200. Uh, so yeah, I guess it was maybe it was like 100 but 200 too rich for my blood, just for a visor. It was like I was looking at their RF. 1200 and if you add the price of that helmet plus the transition visor, I could get the Neotech 2 modular helmet with uh, for the same price, which has the drop down and all that, and the, the Bluetooth where you can integrate it into the helmet. And I had always had just traditional full face helmets, and I wanted to, I just wanted to try something different, you know, so. Well, we're almost in Auburn. My little single disc is getting a workout. Yeah, on this bike, uh, I do a little bit of engine braking. You can hear the pop, 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 pop. Oh, she gets about 45 miles a gallon. Oh, that's not bad.
I would not want to go off to this part. Oh, I hope that guy's okay. We'll have to go back and check. I mean, his bike was up, so that's a good sign. There's the old Auburn Bridge. People jump off that sucker. Sometimes with and sometimes without a parachute. There's a lot more traffic going away from Auburn than coming to Auburn. Well, I know that bridge goes to Auburn. I used to live in Auburn when I was about 10. We're going to have to go up this road. It's going down right now. And you can hear the old pipes going pop, pop, burning off unburnt fuel in the, up in the pipe. That's how low tech I am. I stole my kid's GoPro. Oh, I mean, how dirty is that? Again, uh, so my bike is not fuel injected, right? It's old. It's got a uh, carburetor on each cylinder. So the altitude is going to affect the fuel to air ratio and not in a good way. <clears throat> We're not up that high though. I've, I've gone across a 7,000 foot pass going to Lake Tahoe. With, with no problem, with a passenger. So stage left here. Oh man, I had uh, I had onion rings for lunch, and I've got the uh, I've got the face chin guard down right now, and uh, I'm really smelling my own onion breath. That's rough. It's delicious and disgusting at the same time. And they don't have a stop here, so. <clears throat> up, up, and away. Definitely like going up the twisties better than down the twisties. safer.
There's a lot of things I like about this bike, the comfort, uh, the reliability, but uh, it doesn't have, and it's not like the most confidence-inspiring brake system. But it works. You just got to respect that, you know, and give yourself more time, a little bit more time. Don't get the speed up too much. Not a sport bike. Like my 919, when I got that, I was riding it on these roads. I was like, oh, my gosh. This is incredible. This thing stops on a dime. Turns so easy. But... Definitely not as comfortable for like a long haul. The seat on this thing is so comfy. And the older I get, the more important that gets. Moving, moving, moving. Keep the dog is moving. Oh, dead air. That's never a good thing, probably, uh, in a video. I guys ever wonder if the universe is this cyclical, big bang to big crunch, everything just repeats itself in an infinite loop, and you die, and then you just, you wake up, like, instantly, essentially, trillions of years has gone by, you don't have no concept of time, but just back to do everything over exactly the same. I'm not sure how to feel about that one. Alright. So. I think we're in Auburn here. I sure got close to that car. Like I said, the brake's a little sketchy, but, you know, I still love her. Interesting fact about Auburn. My grandfather died here of pneumonia at the ripe old age of 59. 